Okay, question number 17 from the book of questions. If, without being detected, you could spy electronically for the next month and watch anyone, anywhere, anytime, like a fly on, the, on a wall, would you? If so, who would you watch and how closely? If not, why not? I would like to say that I wouldn't spy on anybody. But... I don't think that would be be honest. I don't think I would spy on anybody that I have a reasonably close personal relationship with, uh, simply because I don't want the complications from knowing things that they don't want me to know. That just complicates things too much, and I'd rather not deal with that. That just makes my life harder. On the other hand, I might, you know, you know, casually spy on, uh, I don't know, politicians or, uh, I don't know, movie studios or whatever, get inside information on things, uh, especially information I could get that might lead to my personal gain. Uh, so make a wager on an outcome of some, some meeting or something like that, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, something for personal gain, sure. I, I would probably fall prey to doing that. Exactly what, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to have some surveillance of someone, somewhere, to even know what else to look for. So, well, what would I, uh, who would I, I uh, observe? Um, local politicians... Uh, sports teams, team owners, whatever. I might even take on uh, act, an activism uh, angle and, uh, you know, obtain information about, I don't know, the Flames Ownership Group and uh, try to uh, give them a massive black eye, uh, uh, try to prove their, uh, that they're up to something. Uh, I might do the same with politicians uh, or uh, corporate leaders or what have you. Uh, I might take a look at, a, say, a, uh, a corporate uh, uh, leadership group uh, and try to, uh, um, I guess, You know, come up with something I could use to I don't to determine if their stock price is going up or down. You know, do some in, in investing or whatever. Uh, find you know, troll through and see who's planning to sell a massive amount of shares of something. Uh, you know, it's to see see if what will affect stock prices or whatever. I I don't actually know though. I like I really don't. It's uh, it's a much harder uh, much harder thing to to determine, uh, you know, without the actual tool than you might think. I, you know, so I guess I don't really know exactly who. Uh, and how closely it would depend on what I found out. You know, I'd probably start out with fairly casual surveillance and then dive in deeper if something interesting happened. Now there is a follow-up here. It says, uh, what if they might someday find out you'd been watching? Do you think you could ever be at ease under constant surveillance? If I thought they would someday find out I'd been watching, that would reduce the likelihood substantially that I would. It doesn't totally eliminate the chance that I would yield to the temptation though. Uh, it would depend greatly on the circumstances. Uh, if uh, I was in a situation where my life or, you know, whatever, really depended on knowing something, uh, or I would get a substantial, substantial personal benefit from knowing something, uh, that would likely be substantially less than the risk, uh, the cost of the risk of being discovered, then there's a pretty good chance, I think, that I really would. Uh, still do it, but 
uh, it would substantially reduce the likelihood that I would spy on any random person just because getting caught generally comes with some sort of a risk and it would depend what's the risk reward situation that's really what it what it depends on um, now for the second part of that do I think I could ever be at ease under constant surveillance well a knee-jerk reaction is no but I don't think that's necessarily true I think if it went on long enough I'd get used to it and then I guess I'd be at ease uh, people are very good at adapting and getting used to things like that is adapting uh, like if the constant surveillance was a fact of life then so be it but if it was only for a short period of time like the initial period of it yeah that would be difficult definitely uh, it would certainly affect my behavior I'd be constantly thinking about what what I can or should do it would definitely change things significantly uh, but after a long enough period of time and this question says ever uh, yeah I think to be perfectly honest I could eventually be at ease with it doesn't mean I like it now but I don't know that it would necessarily cause me any problems right um, and so really uh, knee-jerk would be answer would be no but if you if I really think about it and honestly think about it then yeah I think I probably would eventually come to be at ease with it uh, anyway there's really not much more to say about this one so I'm gonna leave it here uh, I will say that I've jumped on the patreon bandwagon so I now have a patreon you can find it at patreon.com slash lost wizard Anything you can contribute uh, to the operation of this channel is appreciated. But if you can't contribute anything or don't want to, that's fine too. I'm not doing this to get rich. So uh, there you go. Uh, also, the usual like, comment, subscribe, uh, etc. Uh, applies. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.